when my parents split up when I was six years old and I used to go to school. We had, they, they changed schools and the new school I went to, I got, got the shit beaten out of me every day at school. So, you know, growing up, I was like always trying to be this macho guy, this tough guy, because I didn't want to be in that position again. But you know, we're all, all a product of our past and our, I think our vulnerabilities are what make us human. Uh, you know, maybe I had to go through that process to finish up where I am today. You know, I was desperate, growing up, desperate for this sort of macho acknowledgement. Uh, and that's, that's actually what led me into hunting. Uh, you know, I, I was trying to evoke some form of primal respect from my peers. And so I took aim at the vulnerable. Would I change anything going back? Um, no because I come from 180 degrees from where I am now and it gives me a strong voice to speak to who I used to be. Look, three years in Iraq will give you a different lens through which to see the world uh, and uh, this barrier of, like this macho barrier I had around me, that, that got destroyed in Iraq. You know, just, um, you know, when you see a people, people's culture and country obliterated and know that you're a part of that, um, for whatever reason, fighting the arguments of old men. Uh, and when you leave that, you, you have time to reflect. And that reflection is, I suppose that's where you grow. I never hunted again after Iraq. I knew what it was like to be hunted. You know, doing good stuff is infectious. You know, when you start, you know, I just fell into it. I got involved, I didn't go to Africa looking for a cause, I went looking for a fight and it was seeing the, the, the hard work that rangers are doing uh, that really appealed to me. You know, these are, these are people that are leaving their families behind for up to 11 months of the year on a small salary and they're fighting for the heart and lungs of the planet. I just come from fighting for resources in the ground and dotted lines on a map. Rangers inspired me in a world where I think it's hard to be genuinely inspired. And uh, alongside that was animals. You know, just seeing animals that uh, are being hunted for no particular reason, really. You know, so someone can sit a tusk on their desk on the other side of the world. Uh, it affected me in a way that I, I hadn't been affected before. You know, when we first got involved, it was like, you know, the elephants and rhinos are being targeted. And I've got the skills to go out and stop those animals from being killed. Uh, unfortunate that the world needs guys like me with the skills I have to, to protect the natural world, but this is what we've created for ourselves to manage. And it's evolved now, you know, we, we have an army, a growing army of women that are developing their own communities and in the process protecting millions of acres of land and, and in, in those areas is everything, for the birds, the bees, the flowers, the trees, every, everything and this rich tapestry of biodiversity up, upon which, it, you know, our future as a civilization is, is dependent on our willingness to preserve.